saying hey everybody how did you like my chicken on the yeah i guess i'm grooving my my valentine very seriously because i'm grooving with chicken <laughs> all right today i'm gonna bring you i'm bringing you another new tutorial on how to set margins in corel draw yes um let's open to corel draw and right now I want to teach you how to set margin on Corel Draw. Yes, you how to set your margin, how you don't walk out of your of your page. So a lot of people don't really know how to do that or how to set in, setting the bleed. Okay, let me let me just call it setting your bleed. Yes, your know, bleed margin. All right, it's very simple for so many of you who don't have um, your ruler out here or you don't have all these when you click this this just shows okay let's click the ruler once you have your ruler and you do this you put this here you see you put this here aha uh -huh. you put this right here and you actually click and drag down all right good I guess you don't know how I did that so I actually undo it look at your ruler right here if you don't have your ruler right here if you are using Corel Draw X7 show rulers then if you are not using Corel Draw X7 you can actually come to the um, where is this brother where is this brother out here where is this brother out here where is the brother view sorry rulers I'm sorry so when you come to view and you click on rulers so it is going to show you the rulers right there so once you have your ruler and probably maybe the page you are working with it is 10.5 by uh, you know this and you want to say okay I'm working with inches just click on your page and come straight click your page if you want if you're working with millimeters no problem if you're working with inches just click on your page and click right here and change whatever you want to change probably you're working with feet you can change it to feet but right now let's work with inches so I click on my on my box I want to work with uh, 6.7.4 7.4 by 10.5 10.5 I uh, I click this then once you click that to make sure this box is right in center of the page you have to click P just click on P once you click your P it's gonna put it right in center of the page and you can actually come here and do do this look at center to page P all right good so we're good to go so right now you want to set your margins and you you click look at this place you see this click it and drag it out it's gonna give you this line and you know put it on this node right here yes you guys are seeing my node is because I already clicked my snap tool I think I, t I teach you guys that in one of my tutorials you know you click on objects if I click out of this and I drag that you see what I'm gonna be having you see that I don't have anything I don't have anything you know I don't have all this so it's not gonna be perfect so but if I if I do this if I click on the objects probably page or and guideline I, I like using my guidelines also you see you see what happens immediately that I'm having node 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 so I just click the node and bring it to this node then you click down put it click out and put it so that's cool now we want you want to set your bleed what what I mean by this is let me show you what I mean by this you see come here click on your pen tool click your pen tool and click on shift key and just click press escape you have a very straight line right there very straight one so I'm gonna use let me say one one thickness yes I'm gonna use one thickness now I want to teach you guys how to set a bleed you actually you get to know what I'm what I'm about to do very very soon very soon so I adjust it and I say control D Ctrl D is for duplicate. If you're using Windows system, you put you press your Ctrl D. But if you're using your Mac, you press your um, alt alternate D. Or oh, I don't know what. So Ctrl D, I have it, and I say I just click 
I come right straight here just straight here you see I have this rotate box I click on 90 degree so it's gonna make it straight for me so what I'm going to do is having all my snap snap to in guideline object and page I just come to this node and just do this you see is right at the center of so let me just drag it up no I think it's okay like that right now what I'm going to do is I'm not going to highlight these two together and I'll say let me say bottom okay let me say undo so let me click this I click this and I highlight the two together and I say but I press B and again put it to bottom so right now what I'm going to do now is I have this gold right here so holding my shift key drag it into the air you see until you see this edge once you see that edge you're good to go then drag it out because you don't want your 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 bleed to be messing with your book and um, for me I like grouping it and I say control G and we're back into the full space by pressing F4 so right now are you seeing this can you see this you see what I have here so right now I'm having a very good bleed right now so to make this also on this side control D click on the box and say right so I want to put it on the right side so I click on the box click on the right just just click right so once you have it on the right there let's zoom in into what happened right there let's zoom in. so right now we're zooming into what's happening right here we found out that this one is actually so let's click on our margin back and use this key more mirror horizontally to change the direction and just do that and all you just need to do now is click on this node this node right here and hold on your shift key and put it into the straight margin that we right, have right here just put it the edge and you have it as good as it is so everything is working fine so if I bring this bleed if I bring another line out here and put it underneath in the node right here and we go to the other edge let's go we're moving we're moving we're moving we're moving we're moving they are going to be in the same spot oh my goodness so you see that they are very right in the same spot so all right that's it can delete that uh -huh. so that is what we want to get then I can actually do this I can actually highlight the two together and press ctrl G ctrl D for duplicate and click on my box and say bottom so when I press B B is for bottom or you can actually undo press undo ctrl Z undo I've duplicated it and I've highlighted my box I can come to object here and say align and distribute and I'll just say align bottom which is B can you see that B so align bottom then let's zoom in into what we have right there to see how we can actually work with this because I've grouped it so I'm not you know I'm not I'm not bothered about how it's gonna look yes great so the same thing happens right here let's just do this and uh, use our this one is now a mirror vertically while this one is horizontally you just mirror vertically so once you mirror vertically let's see what happens and the mirror so click on this only this and mirror it vertically great so right now put on your and hold on your shift key click on the node hold your, hold on your shift key and drag down you know we find the edge again so that's the edge I click it down and let's move into page and see what we've done Wow you see what I have there I have my margin straight right there so if I remove this box that is disturbing me and click this you see what I have I have my margin straight right there so that is how to set your margin so if you like this video don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel and, and share and of course let somebody who also doesn't know about how to set margins in Corel Draw know about it. It's that simple. It's that easy. You guys are welcome. Thank you. I want to go and enjoy my chicken again. Hello, where's my chicken? Yeah, yummy. Oh, I want to enjoy my chicken. Oh my goodness.